Hi, welcome to Dawn's Workshop. This is part 8 of my NASA Space Shuttle Discovery build. Last time we got these wing edges on. They're all nice and tightly in place. So let's continue on to the next part. Okay, let's continue the build here. Read this. Two of these with ingots. Got some silvery ingots. Not super silvery, but a little bit. And those go right. Oh, I need to put on two of these as well. And where are these going? They go over here, I think. Looks like they go there. There. These go in front here. Oh, I have... Oh, and there's some tiles to put there, too. Okay, I've got these two tiles to put here as well. Okay. Oh, now we have something bigger to build. Starting with this on gray plate. And okay, put that there. A couple of these all these ball joints. And this tile and two ingots. This one by six tile, another ingot, and the two by six plate. Now, it's there's a red, one red plate there, and then another long gray plate. Now we have a bunch of a few. Place the thing I want two by four here and ingot a round a round tile a square tile um two by two tile and a two by six tile okay and then we have another wait wait first we have to put this little double winglet on, double-sided, there we go, um, and some of these ingot, tile, round tile, square tile, and that two by four, ingot, Square tile and a round tile. And a two by four tile. Okay. Now this step brick plate thing. Okay. And we are putting a yellow tile and a yellow curved slope up there. Okay, that's quite the operation. Now we're making something else here. Okay, we take two ball joint connectors. Put those on there. We put two of these three by three plates. A one by, I say, I wanna say a one by 10 plate and got two three by three three by one tiles okay now these curved slopes sit on top here these long curved slopes uh, there should be 
four of them, and then four of the, or two of the one buys. And I flip it upside down, we got two by two plates to put in place on the sides. And then these reverse tiles go all around. Okay. Okay, that's all together. And that goes, oh, it goes this way. Onto those two ball joints. Oh, it does turn. Okay, this is interesting. Now, this goes in place. And where is that? Um, I have to push. This goes back. And that blue tile is supposed to go there. Oh, okay. This kind of slides in there. Well, that's why we have all that tile there. Okay. It's just sitting there. Like all the pieces that are in here. Okay. Now we have these six slot brick things. And we'll put them, they go on the front here. Just kind of, oh, that's going to go on that red. Oh, it is. Okay. And there we go. Covering that up a little bit, not 100%. Gonna see it there. And now, looks like we're making landing gear. And we're using this funky piece. That's something I haven't seen before. Okay, we put a tile on top. And then two, we have these two wheels to put on. Okay, let's put that one on there. Okay. Goes on that. And we have another one. Is it in there right? Okay, that one's better. Kind of push it further on. Okay, that's better. That goes on the other side there. Okay, now we have this piece is supposed to go on like this, the red axle. I'm going to push that through onto two of these half beams. Always fun, okay through the first one. Okay. This is where it's fun. Because the thing wants to go. Okay. There we go. That's in there. That's right. And uh, now we're doing it again this one, but the other way around, with the longer, the longer axle. Okay, it's like that, and kind of push that all the way, or halfway, it sort of looks like it's about halfway through, maybe a little bit more, okay. Uh, and then we have a shock absorber here. And we're putting a little red axle through here. Okay. 
that looks right in like that. And then we have another red axle going through here with a couple of yellow collars. To hold that on. See if we can get it about halfway through, I guess. There we go. And, and now we have two, well, there's two bricks here, but um, I'm not sure. <laughs> they don't go, they're not connected to anything. And I do need them above that to be above the brick. That's above the brick. It's just kind of there. And then the bricks got to hook on like that. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, is that it's not gonna hit any? Well, that's kind of neat. Okay. Now oh, we got a did you know? As a glider, the shuttle only had one chance to land. Once the landing gear was deployed, it could not be retracted. Okay, and now we have some plates to put on here. Oh, we got a couple red axles. Okay, we put these red axles in here. This uh, piece here. And then on the other side, there we go. And we have two yellow plates or two white plates that go over top of this. And we have some green, a lot more, a lot, some lime green bricks. For all the green bricks there. Put those in there. Uh, blue. We're putting in plates down here. And then these corner blue ones like that. And a, oh, these got two hinge pieces here to go connect the shock absorber to. There we go. Oh. Look at that. Okay. Now I take like two of these with the olive plate and these snot bricks or half bricks or whatever they want to be and those go on top here hold that down okay well that has been part eight of my nasa spatial discovery build we got the front landing gear in here now so that is it looks like that's just going to be, doesn't it seem to have anything else connecting to anything, so let's see if it gets pushed out. Oh, wait a second. Does it get pushed out? Oh, it does. That's what that's for. This, oh yeah, we put this middle piece in. Goes the whole thing, and that's, I guess, to trigger the front landing here, probably the other ones too. We'll get to that. If you'd like to see more, uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and take it easy.